I want to thank you for joining me once again out here in the old Dusty Workshop for part four, working on this awesome stainless Sanmai Bowie knife. I am very pleased with how it is looking. Um, in this episode, we're going to get this knife totally done. Um, so it might be kind of a longer episode, but there's going to be a lot of cool stuff to see. I'm really excited to see the uh, kind of multi-bar twist Damascus that's in the, uh, the guard. That antler, that piece of antler. Really glad that I kept that aside just for this project. Um, I've had it in a drawer for like a year and a half for something just like this, and it has worked so wonderfully. It's really comfortable, looks really cool, and I'm excited to see it all finished. So let's go ahead and uh, let's hop on the grinder and get this blade all finished ground, hand sanded and etched. And then once the blade is done, it'll be time to get the guard and all of the handle parts finished and all of it glued and pinned together. After hand sanding, I degreased it and I got it into some ferric chloride. And that looks really cool. Now I'm going to neutralize it. That is just amazing. That looks so cool. I really love stainless sand my. And I'm gonna dry this off. Get a little oil. And we'll get a better look at everything. Alright, so now that the etch is done, and this looks incredible. It's time to change focus to the handle and the guard. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of antler and I am going to put it into some potassium permanganate and that is going to really, really darken this so that when I polish all the high areas it'll give it a contrast between all of the uh, all the little recesses in the antler. They will be very, very dark, and then everywhere that I polish will be very white, almost like ivory. I really love how it looks. Uh, this is potassium permanganate. It's, uh, well, it's purple, but it turns antler and even leather brown, a really, really dark brown if you let it soak. So, 
I'm going to do this now before I do any more of the fit up just because when you soak antler it can change the dimensions just a little bit when it's wet and once it dries back out it'll go back to normal so I want to avoid any kind of big dimensional changes so I'm going to soak that in there overnight so after several hours in the potassium permanganate I did take this out and I uh, let it dry out in my oven about 150 degrees for four or five hours so it's nice and dry now and uh, you can really see it got it got really dark at this point I can finish all of my fitting up on the handle and this is gonna look really really amazing when I get it uh, all sanded and get all the parts that have been sanded polished it's gonna have a just a really beautiful contrast between the bright ivory white and the really dark low spots so it's gonna be really cool now I'm gonna take the guard and I am going to get it ground to its final dimensions and then and then after that the guard and the butt cap will get heat treated together uh, but first I need to weld on a couple small pegs on the back here so that when I glue it onto back of this antler there's more than just the glue holding it on there it'll have two two pins physically holding it into the antler back here and once I have that all finally fit up then I can grind this down to its final dimensions and get all these parts finished Alright, so now that I have my posts on there, I'm going to give it a little tap, and that'll transfer where I need to drill the holes. There we go. fit up so I'm gonna grind it nice and close and then it'll be time to heat treat this and the guard so I get some good contrast in the Damascus
Now that I have these to their rough basic shape, I am going to use some, uh, some iron wire to wrap them up. I'm going to toss them in the forge. I'm going to do a little normalizing cycle on all of them. And then I am going to quench them and temper so that we get the maximum amount of contrast in the Damascus. So, go ahead and start the forge, get these heat treated, and then we're very, very close to being ready to glue up this handle. I'll let these cool and then I am going to get them tempered and it will be time to get them finished. Still very hot but the pattern looks really cool right in there. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's gonna be bold but that is really cool. See it there? And this one you can see it on the side. Well, that's going to be really cool too. So, in about five minutes I'll start tempering these. All of the handle pieces have been heat treated. They're out of the temper. And uh, really see some of that pattern in there. So, it's now time just to finish all these pieces get them perfectly fit up and uh, I'll be looking to glue up this handle here very very soon so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the grinder and clean up all these pieces I'm gonna do the final sizing to make sure that everybody lines up perfectly and then I'll do a little bit of uh, work on the edges of each piece just so we get a little bit more of like a, an heirloom fit up and uh, then it'll be time to etch the Damascus, and uh, then at that point it's just time to glue everything together.
So now that it's been sanded up to about 400 grit, I am going to polish it up here on the buffer. I'm going to do the piece of uh, iron wood as well, but I'm going to do this one first. I have them all degreased. Now it's time to etch. I've neutralized all the parts. I have some 1500 grit sandpaper here. And now I'm just going to kind of remove some of these oxides and we get to see exactly what this pattern is looking like. So now I'm going to do an instant coffee bath just to bring back all of the contrast. And then it will be time to pin and glue the handle. And now it is time to drill a pinhole right here. So we're going to go over to the drill press and we're going to get this uh, all pinned so I can get this uh, finished this evening. So this has been gluing and curing overnight. And so now, the last thing I gotta do is finish the pin. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna clean it up quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peen the pin into a, kind of like a peened dome pin. Um, I'm going to do that on both sides, but first got to remove the big scratches. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then uh, after that pin is peened, this is totally done. Love how that Damascus turned out. Now that the pin is done, take the blade cover off. And we can get a good look at the whole knife. I just want to give you guys a good fly by of this knife.
So now I just need to get it sharpened and uh, I'm gonna make a really nice leather sheath for it. I'm actually probably gonna make uh, the nicest leather sheath I've ever made because this is probably the nicest knife I've ever made. I do wanna thank you guys for following along on this build. It has been such an incredible project to make on my YouTube and I am oh so very pleased with this knife. I have many other awesome projects here planned. I'm very excited to show you guys what I have coming up next. The last thing I want to do is I want to etch my maker's mark. I generally just do my initials. In the past I struggled to add my maker's mark and have it still, you know, look good. I think I have it all figured out now. I've got a nice bench top power supply. Turn the voltage down just a little bit. I did. I also got a stencil maker. However, my stencils are a little too large. So with this one, I just went ahead and used nail polish. All right, so there it is. Now it's on stainless, so it doesn't go super deep. Um, but that, that will do. So I want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Make a Knife. I've had such an incredible time getting this knife all finished up, and I am beyond pleased with how it looks. It is one of, if not the, best knife I've ever made, so I am very, very pleased. And uh, I'm really excited to start bringing you guys some sword builds. So, uh, so you want to be on the lookout for the next episode. I have a couple amazing swords that I'm going to be making here on the channel. And I'm very excited to get started on those. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, it really helps me if you guys subscribe. And uh, drop a like down below. And you can find all of my links to my social media down there as well. I want to thank you guys for watching today. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Catch you on the next episode of Let's Make a Knife, except that it's going to be a Let's Make a Sword episode.